Hello there guys and girls, it's me, it's Grifter, your host of Retro Productions. I wanted to apologize. Yeah, I'm apologizing for the fact of, well, that there has been an absence of content. And I mean original content. But I, I have an excuse. I do. Yeah, I have been busy, really, really busy. So I'm really sorry, but I'll make it up for you. I promise. I'll provide you with content like you've never seen before. I've been studying, working, have a family. I don't even find the time to fulfill my own hobbies. So, and I, I kind of miss it. I, I miss you guys. I miss, I miss this. I miss making movies. So, I might do a catch up. Why not? What have we been doing the past few months? Well. After my review of Blair Witch, I started playing Dead Stranding. Really loved that game. I was, I was nervous to start playing it because I thought it could be boring. At Kojima, I do have a love-hate relationship with that guy, but it was a really great game. Glad I finished it. It was pretty long, and sometimes it could get boring. Not really boring, not for me, but I can imagine some people might experience it as boring. Then there came Shamu. Man, that's really great. It actually surpassed my, my expectations. It really felt like Shamu. But then again, therein lies the problem. It really feels like Shamu. And we're 20 years later. So, well, it d does provide me mixed emotions, if I could explain it like that. You're not gonna capture a lot of new players. Uh, it really, it's like they made this game back in the time and it kind I don't know, something happened so it never got released and now they, it has re resurfaced and they like made an HD version of it. So it's, it's incredibly, as a fan, it's really, it's so authentic. But then again, it's, it's a shame that it's, that's it. So it's, for me, it's, it might be even the game of the year. Even if I said that Stranding was my game of the year, this game was actually pretty good. I also finished uh, Star Wars The Fallen Order. A few moments it was a superb game and a few moments it felt like a platform game. It was really weird as well. So, But it's a really good entry game and I do hope there comes a sequel or I do hope that Respawn or EA makes more games like this. This is the way they should take and this is the path EA should walk on. Really, outstanding job. So the new Xbox has been announced. Uh, yeah, we knew about Scarlet a while back, but now it's all official, it has a name, it has a look. It, well, I kinda like it. I actually really like it. I'm not sure about the name, but I do like the concept of the console, and I even like the, the visual appearance of the console. What's more, um, I didn't see the Terminator movie yet, yet I, I read the huge spoiler on Reddit, so that sucked, but I'm still looking forward to see the movie, but I do know it's not gonna... Well, it's, I know what to expect, so <laughs> there we have that. I'm really happy with the new announcement of the Ghostbusters movie. I really have a good feeling about this one. I have the feeling that the girl you're seeing, that's Raimi's daughter, so I... I think since he died in real life, so... And, and she talks about her grandfather, that he died, so we, we're most certain she's the granddaughter of him. But I have big hope that we'll see an appearance of the original Ghostbusters. And I have a feeling that this movie might prove that a reboot can work. Yep, I really have that feeling. I have the feeling that, that, that this movie will show us how we should do a reboot. Man, there's, there's some great hope in that. And that's about it. So, all the footage that you saw on the backside, you know, in the background, um, that's, uh, well, that's games I've been playing uh, when I found some time. So, Saranara, boys and girls, see you another time. Grifter's signing out. Bye-bye.